Hi, good morning, Nadimia. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Why the session not started so far? Hello?
Hi everyone. Uh, good morning. Can you hear me? Uh, good morning. Yes, we can able to. Yeah. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We good morning, are. guys. Uh, I know it's not a good start, but uh, uh, really sorry for the delay. So due to bad weather, uh, I stuck in traffic. No issue, sir. Thank you. So I'm sharing my screen, guys. Please let me know if you are able to see my screen. Hope oh, everyone can see my screen. Yes, we can. Yes, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you so much uh, for sparing your time, guys. Uh, I'm uh, Kiran from Xlytics. <clears throat> so for next uh, couple of days, uh, I'll be, uh, I mean, we'll be discussing the Excel topics here. And uh, I don't know how many of you have gone through the course content or uh, how many of you got chance to look at this file, guys. So this is the course content, what we are going to discuss uh, in the next couple of days. Yeah. So basically, if I start from here, so we'll be discussing from the scratch. Uh, we will uh, try to understand what exactly we do with Excel and what is the history of Excel. And from there, we will move on to each and every option and uh, we will be discussing all these topics, guys. So though we don't believe uh, basic Excel and advanced Excel, but here we need to segregate it because uh, generally whenever we receive any inquiry, people say that we are trying to learn advanced Excel. So these are the concepts what we are going to cover here. Yeah, let me go a bit slow. You can check uh, the points what we are sharing here, guys. Even our team will share the course content. So whoever has any questions, uh, you can reach out to us if you have any questions. So how many of you are already working? Uh, if you're not able to speak, can you please put in the chat? You can just simply say yes. Naveen, yes. Okay. How about others, guys? Anyone is working? That's nice. Okay. Yeah. When I ask this question, people who are already working, they are a bit familiar with data. Yeah. So as they are a bit familiar with data, so they know the pain, how, what happens if we are not uh, completely aware of the Excel topics. So that is the reason I just uh, try to understand your background, guys. Now, <clears throat> let's come here. Though it was mentioned as demo, but uh, let me discuss a specific topic today. So here, what we are going to discuss today is the basic uh, shortcut keys, what we use in Excel, and how to open any Office application. Can somebody tell me what are the office applications we have, guys? Generally, we tend to hear this word a lot. So what exactly we meant by MS Office and what we have in MS Office? And that is Excel of you know, Word, uh, PPT, <coughs> all these things. Thank you so much. Yes, <coughs> we have uh, Microsoft Word. Then we have Microsoft PowerPoint and we have Excel. And uh, <clears throat> even the very popular one, which generally we don't use it outside, that is Microsoft Outlook. Uh, most of the organizations use for their uh, mailing purpose. And we have one more thing that is called as Microsoft Teams. So I'll just come here and let me make a note of all these things. So we have Word and Excel, PowerPoint, 
and Outlook. Yeah. Then even we have Microsoft Teams. Anyone has an idea what is Teams? Yeah, messaging. Uh, Absolutely, uh, sir. So for messaging purpose, like if you want to communicate with your colleagues or with your counterparts or with your uh, stakeholders, then we can use Teams, guys. Then even we have OneDrive. Yeah, SharePoint. then even we have SharePoint. Yeah. And uh, people used to use Skype earlier, but now people are using Microsoft Teams, Teams for business. Yeah, and if people are using Office 365, then in that Power BI is inbuilt application these days. And even we have Microsoft uh, to do. This is just like a planner. And even we have Microsoft project. Yeah, I'm just naming few applications, guys. All these applications are part of your Microsoft Office. But uh, when it comes to Microsoft Office, so very few applications are very popular. If I list out them, generally people use Word a lot and Excel and PowerPoint Outlook a lot. And these days, even people are using Teams and OneDrive also. So people who are not working, they may not be familiar with the remaining things, guys. But even normally we use this. For example, let's say you're in you're pursuing engineering or MBA, then you have to do your project. So for documentation purpose, we use Word. Can somebody tell me why do we use Excel, guys? What is the purpose of Excel? Why we should use Excel? Data management. Data management. Uh, that's like a big word, sir. Can you try to explain it? What exactly we do in data management? Uh, to do the anal analysis of you know, different kind of data, come up with some kind of uh, analytical uh, result. Yeah. So if you want to analyze data first, we should have data. So we use Excel okay. for first reason. We want to store data. Mm -hmm. Then whenever we want to perform calculations, then in that case, we use Excel a lot. Then like you mentioned, when you want to analyze, even for that purpose, we use Excel. So okay. these are the main three reasons why we use Excel, guys. So that's a major difference between Microsoft Word and Excel. Even in Microsoft Word, you can store data, but it is not as robust as Excel when you want to perform calculations. For documentation purpose, yes, Microsoft Word is uh, the best application. Because whenever you want to take any printout or any legal document, if you want to prepare, in that case, Microsoft Word is the best application, guys. So how about PowerPoint? Why do we use PowerPoint? I guess most of you know this. Any thoughts? Why do we use PowerPoint? Presentation. Sorry? Presentation. Presentation. Yes, thank you so much. Absolutely. So when we want to present something, for presentation purpose, we use Microsoft PowerPoint a lot. So like I mentioned, so I think there is spelling. Yeah, presentation. So then Outlook, we use it for mailing purpose and Microsoft Teams, we use for communication purpose. So some of you might be thinking, why are we making this list? Yeah, now, so in all these applications, some of the features are very common, guys. If you are well-versed with one application or, or if you are very familiar with one application, working with the remaining applications is not so difficult, at least, uh, we can explore the features. If you are familiar with one application, then the remaining applications, you can explore the features and you can start working. Now, let's come to one important uh, point here. That is, for example, let's say I want to open Microsoft Word, guys. Can Microsoft Excel, for example, let's say, how to open Microsoft Excel? Can somebody help me to open Microsoft Excel? Yes. What are the different ways we use to open Microsoft Excel? I just need to go and search in the search button Excel, it will open it. So your voice is very low. Can you please make it louder? Uh, now you're able to hear me, sir? Yeah, I can, but your voice is very low. So? Yeah, please go ahead, sir. Yeah, you can go ahead and search a button. We automatically we can able to open and in the search button. 
search button where do we have the search button sir in downside window like window bahar here yeah thank you so much i hope everyone can see my screen now here we have a place and here we have another place guys by any chance anyone know what do we call these places this one i hope you can see my cursor so where i hover my cursor where i'm playing my cursor file here explorer. what do we call this place file explorer it is file explorer uh sorry i couldn't hear it is yeah file explorer file explorer yeah uh, is that what you said yes okay no we call this place as desktop guys desktop is yeah so this this place we call as desktop and at the bottom of your screen we have like a line uh, a black color line we call this place as task bar so as we are going to learn microsoft office we need to be familiar with the terminology guys that's the reason i'm discussing all these things so we call this place as desktop and we call this place as task bar if you come to task bar so we have uh, a search bar here if you come to search bar and if you click here and if you say excel yes you can launch excel application from here but i have a question here how to open this search bar with keyboard can somebody tell me the search bar i want to open with keyboard without touching mouse windows s i guess windows s yeah somebody said something i couldn't hear it properly but uh, i'm assuming you mentioned uh, windows r or even you can use windows key guys so let's come here if you are using windows laptop then you'll have a windows key guys i hope you can see this icon this icon generally we call as start button but you see the same icon on your keyboard which is at the left bottom corner so <clears throat> the same key you have in your keyboard and if you press the key then it will bring up all the applications what in your, whatever you have in your machine and even the search bar is activated now if i say excel and you will be able to see it the same way if you want to open word you can just simply say word and you can open word here yeah so now i'm just saying uh, excel yeah if you click on this then the application will be launched yes this is one way any other any other ways you guys are familiar yeah right click on right mouse click. mouse mouse right click and new file we can open direct clicks can i make a right click here no on the empty side like this stuff yeah yeah what do we call this place we just discussed the name yeah desktop thank you so much yes if you come to desktop and uh, if you come to blank space of the desktop and if you make a right click yes go to new go to new thank you so much yes if you come to new yeah here we have uh, microsoft Sorry. yes we have some office applications here if you click on that particular office application for example if i want to open excel in that case i say microsoft excel worksheet i can open excel from here this is second way any other and already i am able to see in the desktop now like status and something is saved in that you can open directly in there also absolutely sir that's true but all these are saved files yes but i want to open a new file i totally agree with your point that even you can launch from here but that's existing file what if you want to take a new file which is not control new. plus n control plus n no that doesn't work here sir you go to file explorer and then i want to open excel yep anyone from programming background here in that case uh, people are familiar with one more option guys that is we have windows key and r button in the keyboard if you press windows r anyone has idea what do we call this 
Sorry, I couldn't hear, sir. Yeah, this we call as run prompt, guys. So here, if you just type the name of the application from here, you can launch that particular application. Even if it is Excel, you can launch Excel. Or for example, let's say if I want to Word, if I want to open Word, does it work? Anyone has idea? MS Word. MS Word? No. So if I hit enter, guys, can you see this? It is saying that Windows cannot find Word. Make sure you type the name correctly and then try again. Yeah, here we have some system reserved keywords, guys, wherein this word is also system reserved keyword. But here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to open one particular application. For that application, the word what we need to use is bin word. If you say bin word, then you can open word, guys. Yeah, any idea about PowerPoint? I want to open PowerPoint. Can somebody tell me how to open PowerPoint? Can we uh, use MS PowerPoint? I'm not sure. This is my thing. So let's come here. I'm just saying PowerPoint. Now, if you tape, if you type like this, guys, then what happens? It will be considered as different words. So now, whenever we are using naming convention, guys, this is this is not the right way to use Power PNT. Yeah, that's correct, sir. We have to say Power PNT. Yeah. If you say Power PNT, then if you say OK, then you can launch PowerPoint. So this is the third way how you can open any office application. Anyone else use any different ways to open any office application? How did you open this? How did you open this window? Sir, your voice is still low. I can't hear. How did you open this window? I hope he's asking how to open that run lecture. Okay, how to open run? Yeah, okay. I think he's asking because his voice is very low for us. Also. Yes. Okay. So if you press Windows key and R, Windows plus R, then you can open run prompt. Okay. Okay. The last way, which I prefer a lot, guys. So let me minimize this. So for example, now let me say Excel. In this case, what I can do is I can pin this Excel application to my taskbar, guys. So how I'm doing this, for example, let me come here. If I make a right click, you see one of the options has pin to taskbar. Now, if you say pin to taskbar, Excel application icon will be will appear on the taskbar, guys. Now, if you click on this, then you can launch Excel application. Yeah, this is easiest way. And we have one more advantage. That is when we are working with Excel, the main problem with Excel is we work with one file and we close that file and we move to other file. But what if, if you have to go back to the previous file in that case, yeah, people, what people do is we call this as file explorer. People come to file explorer and from here they go to a particular folder and they try to search for the data from here or they try to search for the file from here. But if you simply come here, instead of making left click, if you make a right click guys, so here we can see 10 last recent files from here. So whoever is frequently working with Excel, for them, I suggest to open Excel from here guys. If you keep taskbar, sorry, if you keep the Excel application on taskbar, then what happens? So. From here, not only you can access the recent file, uh, even there is one more section here, which we call as pinned section. From here, you can 
keep a file where you can keep it in under pin section. From here, you can ac access this anytime. Guys. But people will ask me how to pin it here. That's quite simple. If you come to any recent file, if you place your cursor here, you see this like pin to the list. Now, if you click on this pin icon, then it will come under pin section. Now, if you are using very frequently, I mean, maybe daily or uh, two times or three times in a week, then in that case, it's better to keep it under pin section. In that case, you don't have to get into File Explorer and you don't have to search everywhere. You just simply come here. And if you make a right click here, you see them under pin section. Now, for example, let's say I'm not using this, then I can unpin this from here. Guys. So whoever is working with Excel a lot, if you are using a particular file very frequent, then in that case, I would suggest you to, to go with this guys. This is very useful option where you can save a lot of time by using this option. Yeah, any questions? No. No? How about others? Anyone has any questions, guys? No? Okay, so let's come here. Just let me click on this Excel icon, guys. If I click on this Excel icon, now this is how we launch the Excel application. Anybody try to open Excel file, this is how we get the interface, guys. Yeah, now here uh, we have a terminology related to Excel here that we will discuss a bit later. So let me come here. So whenever generally we are starting a batch, generally people ask, uh, are you going to give any material for reference purpose? So what we do generally, guys, we share this entire folder with you. So we have all the files here. So from here, you can access them. Yeah, for example, generally people ask for shortcut keys. So we have a PDF wherein this PDF gives you the complete Excel shortcut keys, guys. Yeah, not only that, for important tasks, we give you some tests here, guys. Yeah, even using these tests, you can practice what are the topics we discuss. Not only these tests, so apart from these tests, we have some important practice files. We will share them with you as we move on with the topics. So uh, here, we not only focus on the learning part, even we will give importance to practice also, guys. So my request to everyone, if you are attending weekend sessions, generally uh, sessions happen from 12 to 1. If you are attending three hour session on Saturday and three hour session on Sunday, so totally you are sparing six hours, guys. If you are able to give another six hours in a week for practice purpose, then only please join the session, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, my words, maybe I, I may be a little harsh here, but if you are not able to spare another six hours, which you are not able to practice, then there is no point to attend the sessions, guys. Yeah, whatever we discuss here, you must really try it on your own and you should have hands on. Then only you will get the topic. Yeah. Otherwise, when you are listening to the class, you feel like the topic is very easy. But when you sit and try to practice, that's where you feel the difficulty. Uh, I thought we will be having any practical classes or like this? Absolutely, we will have, sir. I'll give you some practical exercises. Mm -hmm. You have to work on it and you have to send it back. Okay, thank you. It's nothing like I'm going to give you marks. Uh, no, not nothing like that. But at least I'll come to know uh, how you are practicing and where do, you are doing the mistakes so I can give the feedback. Okay. 
So these sessions are for, uh, I mean, this batch is for weekend guys. We'll have sessions on only Saturday and Sunday. So generally, how do we communicate? We create a WhatsApp group, like already most of the people are there. So whatever the update is there, we will post in the group. And even whenever you're practicing, you are stuck with an issue, you can use that WhatsApp group for clarification purpose. You can post your queries there. So we will respond to those queries. And people ask about one more thing. What if, if I miss the session? So as soon as we are done with the sessions, guys, uh, we will record the session and the same recording will be uploaded on YouTube as a private link. So access will be given to those private videos. You can go through the recording and you can reach out to us if you have any questions. And which other topic will be going to cover in this class, sir? It's like uh, only advanced Excel or like Power BI and something like that? No, sir, this batch is for, I mean, right now we will discuss only Excel here. Okay. So once we are done with Excel, sir, we have a concept of Power Pack, wherein that's a combination of Excel, uh, SQL, and Power BI. Yeah, because I am looking for the complete Excel, Power BI, and Excel, like SQL. So okay. that's why I am checking. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking. So even I'll quickly show you the uh, SQL content also, sir. So these are the topics uh, what are covered under Power BI, sir. But if you want to uh, go to Power BI, generally we say very clear, you must have a clear understanding on Excel and SQL. If you are good with both of them, then you can go to Power BI. Sir. Because uh, in Excel, we have a concept called pivot table. So in pivot table, we just drag and drop. And you have the same functionality even in Power BI. So when you want to work with Power BI, you just drag and drop the fields. Now, if you don't know how to work with pivot table and how to work with charts, then it will become very difficult to work in Power BI. I'm not saying that you can't, but uh, you can work, but that will not be very effective. So that's the connection what we have between Power BI and Excel. And also, if you see this, we have an interface here. The same interface, you see pretty similar interface even in uh, Power BI also. So now, once you are familiar with these options what we have here, then even you can explore the options what you have in Power BI very easily. Yeah, then let's come here. Excuse me. So can the timing be any change in the timing, like uh, from eight thirty to ten thirty? Eight thirty to ten thirty? Yeah. Uh that we will check with the majority. So if everyone is okay with that, I don't have any problem to conduct the sessions in that time. You ask others also because I am in the United States. I am okay. Uh, yeah, I, I came to US. I'm from Hyderabad. Okay. Uh, basically, I came to US. Uh, I want to, uh, I know basic things. I want to learn so that I can do a job over here. So that's my career purpose. Uh, I'm doing this. So actually, previously also I have registered with this Excelites. But okay. uh, I, after paying the fee, I left it because of uh, some reasons. I was in Hyderabad. Oh, so, okay. So now the time here is 1 a.m. in the midnight. It is. Uh, that's really difficult, sir. I am in EST. I am in EST time zone, uh, Eastern time zone. Okay. So if it is 8 or 8.30, really it would be good for me. <laughs> So it's only a request. Sure, sir. Our front office team will check with everyone. If everyone is okay with that time, I don't have any problem to conduct the session in that time. Yeah, you, you can ask uh, all those if they are interested, if it is convenient to them. Then. 
depends sure. on majority. Sure. And also, I wish you all the best, sir. As you mentioned that uh, you are trying to uh, work. Yeah. So I'm in Maryland right now. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you good luck, sir. Definitely, you should get a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, our front office team will check with everyone and uh, they will confirm the timings. Okay, okay. And what is the fee as such for this course? Sir, even the commercials part, I don't have idea. They will, they will. Confirm. Yeah, they will discuss all, all okay. the things. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. So I am clueless on that aspect. That's the reason I couldn't provide the details here. No, no problem. Yeah. Okay. So uh, when it comes to SQL, this is what we are going to discuss in SQL, sir. But uh, I'll be very honest here. So here, we are not going to discuss the topics related to database administrator profile. So I'll make it very clear why I'm saying this is whenever we say SQL, people come up with different set of expectations. So here, we are going to focus on the aspects where how you can extract data for reporting purpose. So our main focus is on query language. So if I come here, so we'll be focusing on query language. So uh, what I meant to say query language, if you have to extract the data from a database, how effectively you can extract the data from a database and how do you work or how you can reduce the query time, yeah, we'll be focusing on those aspects. But here, we will never get into the DDL commands or DML commands. DDL, yes, we discuss it very uh, basic level. But DML, like altering table, we will not discuss those things here. So if you yeah. want DML and everything, so we have separate classes for that. No? Sir, actually, I mean, in... I have almost like 13 years of experience. So based on my previous experience, I say no reporting analyst or no data analyst will have uh, read and write access for the database. So we'll be able to extract the data. We'll have only read access. In that case, we'll be using queries to retrieve data. That's it. That's what we do. Okay. Yeah, so I should make it very clear because a uh, uh, few people complain that uh, we are not covering the DML commands. The reason why in re analytics profile or reporting profile, we don't use DML commands. And that too, so here we will use SQL Server. SQL Server, again, it's a Microsoft product. So using SQL Server, we'll be working here. Yeah, this is what we are going to cover as part of SQL. I'll ask our front office team to share the course content of uh, all these three. And I have one question. So yes, sir, please go ahead. After completing the SQL course, so I'm able to write the query up in our database at what I'm working in presently. So is it possible to after completing this uh, SQL class? That That's what uh, we target, sir. Okay, because so I want to write query from my set, uh, like uh, absolutely. So that's what we will focus here. Okay. So we will learn what exactly why we use like a select statement and what exactly we do with group by order by and why do we uh, how do we use all these functions and if you want to extract data, how do you combine one table with another table? Yeah, and how to write the subqueries. Because subqueries is the concept which we use very frequent in real time. And even we will discuss how to create the views and how to work with uh, user creation also. So these are the topics we discuss as part of SQL. Thank you, sir. Okay. You so totally how many classes will be there like Excel and Power BI and SQL? So if I take all complete themes. So sir, Excel, that's a really good question. So here, let me mention this, guys. Excel will be discussed. I mean, the total content will be for 30 hours. Yeah. It's 10, uh, 10 process, no? 3 per day, 3 hours. Yeah. 
10 days, sir. Absolutely. Because uh, we'll have this session for three hours. In that case, uh, we'll be spending like uh, four weekends and one more weekend. Yeah, I guess four. No, I guess it will be five weekends. Yeah. And SQL, the content will be covered in 20 hours. And Power BI, like 30 hours. So in this case, I, I'm not mentioning days, guys. I'm going with the hours count. So because some sessions will have like one hour, some sessions will have one and a half hour, and some sessions will be three hours. So based on the duration of the session here, the number of days will be changed. Okay, thank you, sir. And once we have completed the Excel, then we'll move for the SQL and then we'll move for the Power BI. This is the uh, sequence, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Because uh, from Excelitics, we never say that uh, Excel is not required to learn Power BI. No, Excel is mandate. Yeah, because some of you might be coming from non-technical background, especially if you are coming from non-technical background. In that case, you will be clueless about the data. So how we handle the data, what exactly we meant by table, and how we connect one table with another table, what do we mean by attribute, what do we mean by field. If we don't know all these things, we can't work with the data. So for that, whoever is planning to start their analytics journey, for them, it's good to start with Excel. So that's what, based on my previous experience, that's what the suggestion I give to anyone who start their career in Excel. I mean, with whoever wants to get into data analytics, it's better to start with Excel. Because in Power BI, we have a concept called DAX. So we call them as DAX functions. So whenever we want to go with powerful analysis, in that case, we use DAX functions. So these are kind of, few functions are pretty similar to Excel functions. Now, if you want to learn DAX functions easily, then if you have a good understanding on Excel functions, then you can use easily learn DAX functions. Otherwise, it will be difficult. Uh, sir, I have one basic question. Like, uh, yes, where, where we will use the Power BI, where it will be used like for us? So, because I am working as a business analyst in the uh, here. So, where we can use the Power BI? So, thank you for asking that, sir. So, let's come here. Sir, as you said, you're already working. Let me ask you a very simple question, sir. I'll uh, open one file. So actually, this is a dashboard which is created in Excel. Yeah, for example, let's say I'm working with one MNC, multinational company, and I want to share this dashboard with all my counterparts who are sitting in different, different countries. So based on your ex experience, can you tell me how we can share this with uh, many people, sir? Once you're asking how we can save the starter to client like that, no? Yes, sir. Absolutely. That's correct. No, we usually communicate to actually email to the client only. Yeah. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Yes. Mm -hmm. What do we do? We share this entire file. We at, uh, we make it like an attachment to a mail and we send it. Yes. In that case, you have you, your intention is you want to share only this dashboard. But along with the dashboard, you are sharing this data also. What if uh, some unauthorized person received this file? By mistake, let's say, you're not supposed to mark that person, but by mistake, we mark that person. Then even that person will receive the file. And here, you're not only sharing your dashboard, you are sharing your data also. It's not secure. Yeah. Now, in that case, what do we do? When it comes to Power BI, yeah, you can place only this dashboard on a particular location. And from there, 
uh, we have two levels of access there. One is developer access and another one is like your access. So developer only will be able to access the data, but the rest of the people, they will not be able to access the data. So now the major difference is when we want to share uh, the reports or the dashboards with large audience, like I say even 30 stakeholders or 30 clients or 30 people also I consider as a large audience. So in that case, you will share only this dashboard. And this data will be there, but nobody will have access. So in Power BI, we place this dashboard on a particular location. From there, people will be able to use it. You're not sharing this as an attachment. So your data will be saved. So if you ask me what is the difference between Excel and Power BI, I say when you want to share your reports or dashboards, in Power BI, your data is more secure, sir, compared to Excel. So it means uh, SharePoint is used. It's not SharePoint, sir. Even in SharePoint, you upload the entire file. Yeah. 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 But, but file I don't will be there, but they, are, they, they are not able to visual that for files you are telling us. Like orders, you open the folder. Absolutely, sir. They can't see this data. So Kiran, Kiran sir, this uh, this you uh, know dashboard which you shown uh, just now, it was because of the BI or it is big mix of BI and uh, Excel. How sir, to get only Excel? Only Excel. Only Excel. Is it true? Yeah, it's then Excel. why people are going for a BI and all? Sir, we have some advanced features. That's what I mentioned. When you want to share it with others, you can keep some security there. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say a CEO is accessing your dashboard then CEO should have a different access when it, com uh, when it comes to a sales director. Mm -hmm. He should have a different level of access. So that feature is there in BI, not in Excel. This is what yes. it is. Okay. If you want to keep those kind of restrictions, it is a bit difficult in Excel, sir. But in Power BI, you can easily do it. Mm -hmm. And not okay. only that, okay. you can integrate with the different, different applications very easily in Power BI. Uh, did I answer your question? Yeah, I have one quick question. Like yes, after 30 hours of Excel uh, content, are we able to create these type of dashboards? So we close the session by creating this kind of dashboard only. The final session will be dashboard session only. So obviously you'll be able to do it. So this is purely Excel guys. So, and uh, for sorry for the interruption. No, so please. for the Power BI, uh, uh, we need some practice platforms, right? It's it's not in the Excel, right? So what is that exact platform we are going to use for that? And do do you guys give the give the data to practice or like I hear some like some data me we required like some access should be required for the Power BI. Is that true? So that is a major advantage what we have with Power BI. So we have Power BI desktop. So this is what you need to have. If you have Power BI desktop, you can download it and you can use it. You don't have to pay single rupee. Microsoft gives it for free. Yeah, this is what we use to work with Power BI. But if you want to share the report with others, then you need to have a licensed version of Power BI that we call as Pro License. But apart from publish, you can do everything in the free version. I mean, apart from sharing with others, you can prepare report and you can even set some security there. You can do all those things with the free version. If you ask me data sets, yes, there are so many platforms where the data sets are available. Apart from the data sets, what we provide, you can take any data set and you can create the dashboard. That's what people do. They go to Kaggle. There's a website called Kaggle. On Kaggle, many data sets are available. We can pick up any data set and we can work with that. Yeah, I have one more question. Like, so do you guys like uh, train us so how to use the AI tools after learning these all tricks like Excel, SQL, and uh, this Power BI? So like nowadays, uh, everyone is using AI tools for the quick resolution in the organizations. And yeah, we know the formulas, but it will take some time. But uh, through AI uh, tools, are you guys able to like going to uh, teach us anything? 
by using AI tools. Thank you so much for asking that. Even few days back, I received, a, I mean, I received a suggestion from one of our friends only. He completed the batch previously. So even I want to do this from this batch, guys. I want to discuss few AI extensions. Even I want to start that. Yeah, but already we have some features here. So if you see this, I'm using Office 365, guys. Okay. In Office 365, already we have some inbuilt features. For example, let me come here. If you come to Home tab, in Home tab, there's a feature called Analyze Data. Now, if I click on this Analyze Data, basically Excel will read your data. And if you ask a question, based on your question, Excel will respond. You can see this. Analyze data, ask a question about your data. Yeah, for example, let me go with this. It's a suggestion what it is giving me. So let me pick up this. Then it is giving me what is my total sales excluding 2009. Can you see this here? I did not write any formula or I did not create any pivot table. So based on my data, it is giving some suggestion. So this is what people are considering as AI based features. Even we can discuss some of AI extensions, guys. I'll I'll be definitely going to do that. That's yeah. what. Be yeah, because that's important. You know, for example, sometimes the entire data we may not create. And the my, some people just directly they give the data and they just want something from that. Suddenly we didn't uh, we will not get some idea about that. So for that that will be helpful. We know the formula. For example, uh, someone knows the pivot table. Someone knows uh, we we look at slip. But suddenly, if uh, how to apply in that uh, like that Excel, sometimes we will get stuck. So that will help us. If you like how to ask the question, also we should know actually. Absolutely, that's true. And also, and, yeah. yeah. Please go ahead. And one more question, like um. Uh, what is the difference between the Excel and the Google Sheets? Nowadays, most of the organizations are using Google Sheets. So what is the difference? Okay. Sir, I am the person who believes always the basics are damn important. Even most of the, I mean, other trainers, they don't uh, stress much on the shortcut keys. But somehow, in my previous experience, I used uh, shortcuts a lot to complete my work. So I believe basics are really, really important. Though we have these AI based features, I really stress on each topic very detailed. Very detailed. For example, let's say there is something. For example, let's say, can you see this uh, arrow? Now I'll try to find out if you click on this arrow, what, what will happen? We need to pay so much of attention and we need to be very detailed. So though we have some AI based ex extensions, but I suggest you to learn the fundamental concepts without missing anything. Then AI-based AI extensions are like added features. Like you mentioned, sir, yes, sometimes to save your time, you can use the AI extension. But let's focus on the fundamentals also. Rightly mentioned. This... And, and Kiran, sir, one more question on this AI, yeah, because please. this is something which is, you know, right now it's buzzing everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so these are the set of the questions which is setting up in the AI tool, right? Yeah. And when you run those questions, that that is going to be happen on in front of your screen, right? Yes. The way you have done it right now, analysis data. Yes, sir. So so is there any way, you know, means, uh, you know, means I don't know, man. So you are the best person to answer my question. And you know, I mean, this analytical, uh, this AI tool, kind of the that what how they design it. it is going to be extended more and one day you will no need to learn all this you know fundamental is this going to be a happen and i'm just i'm just asking hypothetical question mm -hmm. but i'm just care of that and it means maybe to, today we are investing time maybe tomorrow if some tool will come ai tool and then uh, it will say that no need to go for this kind of training uh, i'm going to help you uh, that is going to be happen or uh, no fundamental basic knowledge has to be there otherwise this ai tool will not help you further well, I mean, sorry i'm just asking some no, no, that, that's a quite valid question sir yeah the major difference between ai and human customization mm -hmm. so if i give very straight answer ai cannot do the customization sir Okay. And always we apply the common sense. So mm. 
that miss a bit a with a x ratio yeah okay. i say if we are not strong with the fundamentals how do we do that customization right yes yeah so got it. and uh, i will answer your other question also microsoft and open ai which is the uh, firm who released chat gpt mm -hmm. now they have a tie up so microsoft is going to release so many ai based features in all office applications okay but those features will help you to perform your tasks in a better way but they never say that basics are not important mm. and also if you ask me i learned complete excel in 2014 so i started working with uh, excel 2007 version now the latest version what we have in the market is office 365 still for last 10 years i have been working with excel my friends ask me what do you work with excel or why do we use excel because they work with different different applications they feel like they use excel only for copy paste but they don't know that we can do so many things with excel yeah yeah right down that's that's why we are here i believe Absolutely. because we are missing the same yeah so now the first version of excel was released in 1985 sir yeah since then what microsoft is doing they released so many versions so version to version they released so many updates or they added so many features mm -hmm. now we can't say that the basic version is not required as we have the latest version absolutely okay. not yes okay got it thank you you welcome sir yeah any other questions guys we do have some. uh my submission is that uh, uh with my experience uh, if you keep more practical sessions uh where the participant himself does the work and you make corrections if there are mistakes and then uh, that training would be preferable than uh, you know you dealing with the subject so yeah yeah that would be preferable as such sure sir thank you for pointing that out see we are open to conduct the session sir but the problem is whenever we say there is a practical session uh, people come up with all the excuses whatever there in the world they say no we are occupied with office meeting we are occupied with some other work we have some personal engagement people uh, don't the point is that if you give more exercises to i i do that so So, if, so what happened is if you give uh, say for one day session you give 10 exercises yes. you will try to do four or five some will be able to do seven some will be able to do 10 so like that uh, if you give more exercises yeah. uh, really we will be practicing and we will be learning sure sir i'll do that very essential yes i'll do that and also we are working on couple of uh, files where uh, we want to create them for practice purpose we have already files almost like we have like uh, 15 to 20 files on different different topics but apart from those we are trying to create more files we are working on it yeah. even uh, by the time we complete the topics uh, will uh, will be in a good shape to share those files with you yeah. definitely i'll try to share them with you yeah yeah and also people share one more concern saying like uh, we are not school kids why are you stressing this and uh, is it like a homework yeah most of the people are working here i totally agree but you have to focus on the practice yeah here in us yeah. when we apply for a job uh, what whether it is accounting or maybe excel or any other subject it is yes. we have to give a test that test online test is uh, for somewhere around 30 minutes to 45 minutes hmm. so where uh, usually it is easy to get uh, uh, proficiency like 70% score yes yes but 70% uh, score doesn't fetch the job yeah you know unless one get 85 to 90 and above percent i yes. mean 90% then only there is expectation of getting a job yes so, sir that's true we may score uh, proficiency is okay 70% 75% usually uh, we may do uh, above average so we get it 
but that is not sufficient so so we have to you know get more practice and then more expertise is required sir for that matter i'll tell you one uh, bitter news for the people who are in india so when it comes to recruitment in india we have really tough standards sir so here what people are doing they are conducting really really tough tests mm -hmm. they are just simply giving a data set and they are asking people to analyze it mm -hmm. so some strange scenarios where they are sharing their regular work with the interview candidates and they are asking them to analyze that data set but but that's very challenging why because when you give a scenario and ask for data analysis then the, uh, there could be different answers yes and, and 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 then it is difficult it's very challenging for the candidate to choose one path as one answer there can be two or more answers absolutely two or more ways of data analysis that's true sir that is the advantage and disadvantage what we have with excel guys one task can be performed in multiple ways now if you ask me which one is correct all are correct but everyone has a different approach yeah maybe you and me are in the same line you may that's go with the same approach or maybe maybe the other person oh. may not be in the same approach but you can't say that that's wrong yeah, yeah. and also so we have especially in hyderabad sir we have this concept which is gss or gccs anyone knows what is gcc global yeah okay gcc stands for global capital center or gss stands for global shared services so now we have so many companies in hyderabad especially they are setting up their gccs in hyderabad global capital centers so these global capability centers are located in hyderabad but they are working with the people across the globe now what these companies are doing majorly now we have the opportunities with gccs so we have so many data analytics opportunities now in that case like our friend mentioned if a data set is given so you must have the logical thinking to derive what you have to present from the data and if there is a question how do you answer that you should have the problem solving skills if you don't have both of them then you can't get into data analytics i'm not talking about excel guys you may deal with excel you may deal with python you may deal with the tableau or you may deal with power bi whatever the technology you take but these are the basic skills what we require that is logical thinking and problem solving skills because yes. as a manager when i recruited uh team members i focused on these aspects only because technology can be learned but problem solving and logical approach logical thinking that that's like a common sense what every person should have and these days if we observe the trend especially interviews they are focusing on the this aspect a lot because i come from hr background so we are focusing on this guys yeah during my 13 years of tenure i worked with different different domains like i worked in hr analytics i worked in pricing analytics even i worked in supply chain analytics so it's bit tough to get into different different domains guys but in any domain so these are the basic skills what we require so thank you for bringing the that point sir any other questions guys So, Kiran, Kiran, since since you have experience on this, I you know I just want to understand the experience from your side that how it easy you know uh, to uh, keep this all these formulas in mind and using it and how uh, and I mean it is possible to keep everything or it is you know logic based. Whenever something comes, you automatically recall those kind of formula. Okay. Because now, uh, being an age guy, I am I'm scared of to remember all this formula now. But okay. I just understand uh, from your side how your experience is on that. Sure, sir. Thank you for asking that. So let's come here. Guys. Good question. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, sir. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. 
So especially if you are using Office 365, guys, compared to other versions, uh -huh. we have so many new functions in Office 365. Okay. Yeah. But if you ask me, do we have to remember each and every formula? Uh, I may sound a little uh, uh, rude here, but you don't have to remember each and every formula, guys. And also, okay. I'll be very honest here. We are not going to discuss each and every formula. We are going to focus on the formulas which are required for data analysis. So, what are the topics we discuss related to data analysis? You can easily remember them. Sir. I'm not saying that you have to remember, for example, if you come here under math and trigonometry, math itself is a complicated topic. And we don't use all these functions when we are working with data analysis. But certainly we'll be using some functions a lot. So you have to remember those formulas. So straight answer to your question, sir. You don't have yep, to yep, remember yep. each and everything. Right. Yeah. But there well, are thank you. Concepts. Thank you, Giran, sir. You're welcome, sir. So you have to remember certain concepts. And if you really go with a good practice, you can easily remember the topics, guys. Right. That practice is most important here, otherwise. Yes, sir. No meaning to have this kind of call. Yeah. Otherwise, what happens? It looks like you know it, but you can't write the formula for that. Hmm. So, yeah. Absolutely. That's what we target, sir. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm just uh, repeating this again, guys. 100%, I mean, for example, let's say there are around 300 or 350 formulas in Excel or 350 functions in Excel. I'm just rough estimating. Mm -hmm. We are not going to discuss all those 350 functions, guys. If we do that, I guess maybe six months are not enough to complete the Excel course. <laughs> yeah, that's a frank answer here. But whatever is very relevant for data analysis purpose, we will focus on those Excel functions. For example, if you come here, if you go to engineering, we have so many functions here, but we don't use these engineering functions for uh, data analysis purpose. Unless you work with uh, engineering companies, then you use these functions a lot, like designing AutoCAD. Yes, civil engineers and mechanical engineers, they use these functions a lot. So if you ask me data analysis wise, do we use them? Very, very, very less. I say, I haven't used once even in my lifetime, to be honest. So we will not touch these kind of topics, but whatever is related to data analysis, yes, we stress a lot on that and we do practice files on those topics. And sir, uh, do we will uh, like, uh, do we have any shortcut keys to remember all those things like will you be giving any notes for us and like? That's also another interesting question, sir. I don't ask you to buy heart uh, each and every shortcut, but based on your activities, you can find out the shortcuts for your activities, sir. That's one way. And we have some basic shortcut keys. Those shortcut keys, we have like around 30 shortcut keys, what we have, you need to remember them. But the rest on the go, when you are working with the data, you can find out them, sir. So my simple answer is, I remember, I suggest you to remember the shortcut keys based on your daily activities. You don't have to remember or you don't have to buy heart each and every shortcut what we have in Excel. That's not required. And will you give for any notes for us uh, to like? Absolutely, sir. That is the reason I mentioned here. So we will share a folder with you. You have all the files in that. We will okay. share this entire folder with you. And also we have some written notes also. We'll share that notes. Guys, we have uh, one of our friends here. So he's asking like, uh, if I'm going for interview, should I have to remember the formula? I say yes, because when I took the interview, I asked a very basic question that, uh, I mean, uh, I, I was, I mean, I was recruiting for an entry-level position. So my requirement was very simple. 
I wanted to recruit a person with decent communication skills, decent communication skills, and basic Excel knowledge. Yeah. You know, to fill this position, we had to interview like 60 candidates. Do you believe that? Yeah. So whenever any uh, interview participant attends the interview, they used to say that, I mean, the general question, what we ask, what do you know in Excel? They used to say that we know VLOOKUP and we know if function. My next question is, I used to ask them, can you tell me the syntax of VLOOKUP or if function? I never asked them to write on the computer, guys. I just straight away asked them, can you tell me the syntax? If they really practiced well, then they can easily remember the syntax. But the problem is, out of 60 people attended, hardly like four or five people answered this question. I hope I answered your question. So now, that's a problem. People attend these sessions, but they don't practice. If you practice, sir, you can remember. Yeah, any other questions, guys? No? Yeah, I totally agree. Um, and uh, sorry from my side, we did not discuss much technical topics today. But uh, starting from next week, so we will completely get into technical aspects. We start from scratch, guys. When I say scratch, we will start from what exactly I said. So we will start from here and we will complete the sessions by creating the dashboard. Yeah. And people ask one more thing. Are you going to discuss Power Query? Yes, definitely. I'll discuss uh, some of the topics in Power Query. I'll show a couple of examples in Power Query. Okay. So Kiran sir, we will we, we are going to start this class from next week. Yes, sir. Next Saturday, sir. Next weekend, okay. Yes, next weekend. So meanwhile, uh, our front office team will uh, get in touch with everyone, and uh, they'll try to fix the time and uh, for the schedule also. Okay. So any uh, so so it is going to be offline, online, both, right? Both. We have both, sir. Okay. Thank if you, you come for offline, I'm very happy, and I encourage people to come for offline because I'm from yeah. old school. Right, right. Because see, I have I have opted for VBA as, as well with Raghu sir. I, I used to oh, come. Okay. Today, he's not. Uh, that's why I'm going to have online. Okay. But I also prefer to have offline because it's and all this session is totally dependent on interaction. So, it's so good. Sir, may I know your name? Are you? Nadim. Nadim oh, Khan. Nadim. I audit, sir. Yeah, now I get it. Thank you. <laughs> we are already met and I mentioned yes, to your sir, front yes, office sir. that I don't want to come physically because I know Kiran sir very well and I'm op opted for this class as well. So sure, sir. In. sure. So that's why. Well, so, thank you so much, Kiran sir. You're welcome, sir. So no, but no further questions. I'll stop it here for today, guys. Yeah. I'll ask our team to share the course contents. Please go through the course content. And at the end of the session, guys, you can take a printout and please. Tick mark the topics, whatever is completed. If you feel like I'm missing a topic, if I did not cover a topic, let me know. I'm uh, happy to cover that. Okay. So that's all from my side for today, guys. We'll meet next weekend. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Finally, we will meet you next week. See you. Yeah, you. Finally, please uh, put thank a you, word Kira. for a change of timing. Sure, sir. I'll uh, I'll uh, inform yeah, our if possible, team. if possible. Okay. Sure, yeah, sir. Okay. Our front office team uh, will uh, yeah decide that and they'll let you know, sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If it is convenient to you and uh, majority, and that, that would be fine for me. Absolutely, we go with the majority opinion, sir. Thanks, sir. Last Thank question from my sir. No? Yeah, please, please go ahead. Sir, uh, do we have any daily classes like apart from the weekend? We do have, sir. A daily batch is going on. We have some other sessions. Okay, okay. Uh, and one quick question. It's like uh, in the Power Pack course, uh, the macros are also covered, right? Uh, no. To be honest, uh, Power Pack is related to Excel, SQL, and Power BI. So VBA is not covered in that. 
but during our sessions i'll just give you a orientation on macros also kiran sir what is this power pack and i mean it's a package uh, no it's a combination of excel sql and power bi sir so it is included in uh, advanced excel class right? yes it's oh. a bundle sir okay kiran you you will be the trainer uh, for the right for power pack yeah okay. so either uh, uh sequel and power yes. there uh, i will take or kishore will take one of us will do that sir okay makes sense kishore is quite good so you don't have to worry about that <coughs> okay any other Yeah, this batch is for weekend, sir. So we'll have sessions on Sunday and Saturday only. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, thank you so much for giving time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Because on a weekend, you guys decided to learn something. I should really appreciate that. And thank you for giving me opportunity to discuss all these things. Yeah. See you on next weekend, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank Bye. You. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Th